Hi, I'm Candy Cooper and today's topic is lines. Let's begin with the definition. A line is an infinitely extending one-dimensional figure, one that has length but not width or thickness. In art, lines are the basis that give form to a piece of art. And in our projects, lines can be straight or curved, thick or thin, and raised or flat. In our first project today, we're creating our own modern art canvas with paint and masking tape. So to get started, you'll need some acrylic paint in your favorite colors. You can pick matte or metallic colors are fun. Some masking tape and a canvas. And canvases come in all different shapes and sizes, so you can make your piece of art as big or as little as you want. So the first thing we're going to do is start putting or making lines with masking tape. And you'll want to do this so that you're basically sectioning off areas of your painting to create a geometric design. And I would leave your pieces uh, or your open sections kind of random. And then you'll want to fold over all your edges like so. And, you would, and also it's key when you're putting your masking tape to really burnish the ends uh, or the edges of the tape down so that we're sealing these areas with the tape. And I'm gonna add one more and then we'll get started with adding some color. Okay, now let me double check that needs smoothed out and then roll all your edges of tape over because on this style of stretched canvas, we're gonna even paint the edges. Okay, now grab uh, a palette with your paint on it and then just go to town painting. I'm gonna start with my light color and you're gonna paint right over the edge of the masking tape. and you're gonna fill in this entire section. It's a good idea though, when you're picking your paint, to use a thicker formula. You don't want the paint to be too runny because then it, it can kind of seep under your masking tape, even if you did burnish it down really good. So let's switch colors and maybe we'll do a green section right here. And it's okay if that texture of the canvas comes through, it looks kind of cool. Okay, and let's do the edge. And then say if you did wanna um, get rid of some of your texture and transparency, you can just let this dry, leave the tape in place and add a second coat. So moving on, we have something like this. And I'm using some different colors, but this is your base um, layer. The next thing you wanna do is peel up, and this is completely dry. And I, uh, of course we would have filled in these other areas with paint, but you're just gonna peel away all your masking tape. And it gets a little bit sticky in some areas like that, and you may have to really pick at it to get it completely removed. But the next thing we're going to do is add some more tape. And that's just to give us a second layer. So you would just do the same thing that you did in step one, adding more tape in all different directions and then filling it in with more paint. So this is one that I've already pre-taped and I'm just adding more paint. The reason we do this though is because it looks kind of cool if you look at some of these areas where you can see the first layer right here of gold under the second layer of yellow. And you get some cool color mixing effects too. So if I add this right here, I can see how that, gr that greenish color is underneath. This is actually called a hard edge painting because we have all these hard lines on the canvas. Acrylic paint is excellent to use because it is, it is pretty opaque. Okay, and then again, you wanna wrap over your edges or paint over your edges. And then you would just let this dry, 
peel your paint away and you have something like this. So I um, actually went one step further and I liked this gold color so much that then I started outlining some of the areas with the uh, gold calligrapher pen. And what makes this pen special is it has a chisel tip, which means square. So let me just grab my, my piece here. And you would just start outlining different areas to highlight. And this is a super metallic pen. It looks neat and really emphasizes all of our lines. And you could even outline all your white areas. There really are no rules, but it's kind of neat because you can use the skinny edge or you can use the wide edge to make thicker lines. But see how that highlights all that and brings in some of my gold pieces so I have a super modern piece of art.